Anyway, what are, are you reading anything right now? I'm reading so many things, learning? but I finished uh, Make Time, which uh, yeah. I wrote about in our... We have an internal Sunday night newsletter that I started. Yeah. Plus, we have an external uh, a Sunday night newsletter, which yeah. I love. And I wrote about this book, Make Time. I also wrote, which is a good book. It's written by two guys who wrote Sprint, ex-Googlers. Uh, enjoyed that book. So if you want to be more effective, take a look at that book. I also mentioned some other books to help you on being more Didn't you, effective. speaking of making time, yeah. didn't you blow up your calendar recently? In which way? I think oh, you yeah. started over. Yeah, I started over. So I went, you know, email you, bankrupt, you made a I comment to me the other, You made a comment to me the other day. You're like, I don't think I've sat at my desk for this long in Yeah, in, yeah, in I had years. sat at, I sat at my desk. I sit next to the DG for, I don't know, two hours, three hours. And I was like, I was, it was weird. I was like... It's a lot of time. I haven't sat here this long. What am I supposed to do? Because uh, I've been in just a ton of meetings, and so I've been putting into place the stuff for make time, uh, basically clearing out my calendar. I've got an email under control. I've started to get my calendar under control. There's a l- couple other books that I, I kind of recommended in there. We went back to the classic Stephen Covey. I'm rereading this book, actually, what? for the umpteenth time, The uh, Seven Habits. You're rereading that effective. right now? Yeah. Really? Highly effective people. Highly recommended. That Actually, that quote that I sent you this morning, yeah. uh, two of them, was from that book. I was trying to figure out where was that from. Yeah. That, uh, so pick that book up if you haven't read it. Timeless classic. Why did you pick it? Was it just on the shelf? And you're like, oh. Because um, we were talking internally about Big Rocks, and, uh, and I wrote on, in this newsletter about Big Rocks, and I said Big Rocks is a concept you know, that we talk about it from the book The One Thing, but it originally came from Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Have you read that book yet, DG? No? Oh, my goodness. We'll give him the printout. That explains it. The printout. Yeah, we'll give you that. Um, so anyway, we'll get him a copy of that book. Rereading that book right now, and then I got a couple of others. Uh, you know what book I just finished? Audio book? What book? A little book by someone called You, God. Oh, you uh, did? Really? Oh, yeah, I read that wow. book. You God, if you don't know, shame on you. Yeah. You God is one of the members of the Wu Tang clan. clan. And he wrote a book of, uh, what was it? Uh, entering the, entering the, the Wu Tang, right? I believe that's the title. It was good? Great book. Yeah, I listened to it. He read it. It was awesome. Should I listen to it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's fun. Old New York. What are you reading now? Um, I just finished an audio book. Okay. That's top secret. Okay, top secret. I can't share that one. <laughs> Uh, but I'm I'm going deep. You you got me all these uh, Roy Williams Wizard of Ads books. Yeah, I see I'm that. About Sorry. to finish the first one. Yeah. I'm a little bit more neurotic than you are. I need to read. There's three, and they come in a series. I and you're sending. Right. I was so screwed up because you're sending me pick, and they're all the chapters are numbered. Mm-hmm. And so you're sending me like chapter 31, mm-hmm. and I go to my book 31, and it's different. So yeah. I'm reading them in order. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to Roy Williams in in February. I'm Ooh. officially booked. All right. Uh, and uh, I'm also reading. I'm also reading a. I'm reading two books at night because uh-huh. I, I I can't read the work stuff at night because no, it don't. just goes off. So that's, somebody that's got good. us a, a loyal seeking wisdom listener got us this book about Michael Lombardi and, and Bill Belichick. I'm reading that book. Salute, you know who you are. <clears throat> and I'm reading a book called Sons and Soldiers, which is a, a crazy true story. I think it's going to be the next Unbroken, which is about World War II and a bunch that. of German. Uh, German people who escaped Germany and then came back as a U.S. Uh, Army member to fight Hitler. It's a crazy, who is crazy this? story. This is, this is DG? You gotta just, I'm, this is who I am. This what? is who I am. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. Since when? It feels amazing. I'm learning some stuff, you know? Whoa. It's unbelievable.